news. A little girl bullied at school turns to social media for support. Tonight, a post has been shared almost 6,000 times nationwide. KTV News Watch 7's Christina Engel, live with the story you'll see only on 7. And Rob, it's a message her mother hopes all parents hear, saying she's tired of her child coming home in tears. Now, tonight, the girls' school tells me they are proactive when it comes to bullying, but this mom says the conversation needs to start at home. A picture can be worth a thousand words, but this one has just one message a plea from second grade student Paige make the bullying stop. Few children, unfortunately, were calling her dumb and that she shouldn't come to school. Words that broke Paige's mom, Diana's heart. So she turned to Facebook where little Paige started a big conversation. They just really want the parents to know that we really need to talk to our kids about this bullying because it does scar people. Thousands of likes, even more shares on Collins Hope, an anti bullying nonprofit page run by Meredith Pallet. I've had positives and negatives. Um, a lot of people supporting Paige because they understand where it, she's coming from. Some of those people even pledging to be Paige's friend. Support that even Paige's school, Indian Hill Elementary, is happy to see. I know what it feels like as a parent to have your child bullied. Paige's principal, Sharon Royer, says her son was bullied because he has Asperger's. So she wants her students to know here they're safe every week together taking a vow. I will be kind to everyone, even if they are not like me. Everyone should be able to feel safe and happy in school. Royers can't talk about Paige's bullying specifically, but says she takes every bullying complaint seriously. And it is addressed at this school. We are proactive, and it, it is not a chronic problem in the school at all. And Diana says she agrees. Indian Hill Elementary is always on Paige's side. They do a great job at the school, but unfortunately, they can only do so much. So Diana is asking parents to start the conversation at home. It just goes on too much, too long, and the parents really need to be aware of it. Now the school also tells me they did see the Facebook post and contacted Diana immediately about it, saying since it was posted, they've gotten calls from all over the country about it. Now to like or share Paige's picture or to learn more, just go to KETV.com and we'll connect you. Back to you. Christina, thanks.